You're watching the Samsung Galaxy A51 Disassembly Teardown. First, let's remove the SIM tray. Next, use a heat gun or a hair dryer to heat the back plate up so you can loosen up the adhesive underneath it and use a pry tool to pry the back off. Let's remove the back. You have 13 Phillips screws you need to remove. Go ahead and remove these screws. All right, once you got your screws removed, you're gonna have to put your pry tool in between the frame and the screen border, the black border. So on this one, it's gonna be right between the black and the blue. And once you got your pry tool in there, just work your way around the phone and open up the catches. Then you could separate the back frame off the mid frame of the phone. So this back frame part is plastic and it bends like this. You got your speaker assembly right over here and you got your volume and power button right over here. That's the cable for it. You got your antennas running around this whole back frame. All right, next go ahead and disconnect your battery cable. Look at it over here. And we're going to disconnect this cable that leads from the main board to your charger port down here. Next, we're going to disconnect the front facing camera. Remove that. Here's a closer look at that. You have one wire cable over here. Pop that off. And then you have a Phillips screw over here. Go ahead and remove that Phillips screw holding on the main board. Now you can lift up and remove the main board. So here's the back of the board. You have your SIM readers over here and you have your cameras attached on the back, all four of them. So if you want to remove the cameras, all you have to do is pop off the connectors and lift the cameras up with this black plastic frame that's on. And then here's a closer look at the front of the board. So you have your fingerprint reader or scanner right over here. It's held down with two Phillips screws and you have a connector over here connected to the charger port board. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect the connector by popping it up. And then you could go ahead and remove the two Phillips screws. Okay, lift it up, remove it. Here's a closer look at that. Now you have the other end of the wire cable connected over here. Pop that off and you got your screen cable over here. Disconnect that as well. Now in order to lift up and remove the charger port board, there's adhesive underneath it holding it down so you're going to have to pry it up gently so you don't damage it. So here's the charger port board. Here's the other side. You have your headphone jack over here and your microphone is located over here. It's this gold rectangle piece over here. So now we're just left with the mid frame, the battery, your screen that's attached to the mid frame. You got your vibrator motor over here. You have a liquid damage indicator right over here. And you got your EP speaker over here on top. So let's just say if you're planning on replacing the screen, your best bet would be to find a screen assembly that's pre-attached to the mid frame like this. But let's just say if you're planning on replacing the screen just by itself without a mid frame, you would have to basically take the back plate off, unscrew the back frame, and then separate that from the mid frame, disconnect the battery cable, disconnect the screen cable over here, and then you would heat up the screen to loosen up the adhesive and separate it from the frame and run your cable for the screen through the slit, and then put your new screen cable through the slit again, apply the screen to the frame of the phone, and then just reverse the process. So with this battery, there's no easy pull tabs to pry it off. So you just basically have to heat the frame up a little bit and use a pry tool to go underneath the battery and around the sides. And you could preferably use a membership card or an old credit card or something. So you could slide it underneath and work your way 
all the way to the top and pry it off easy that way. Just make sure you don't start from the top because you don't want to damage this connector piece over here. Here's the screen itself. All right, let's go ahead and put this guy back together. Now once you've got your screws back in place, apply some new adhesive if you need to and reapply the back plate. And flip the phone around, power it on, and you're done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.